Hi there, uh, this is Grant Bailey with CW Hayden. Um, coming at you today with a uh, hot topic in fall protection, which is fall clearance. Um, we're gonna go over a couple scenarios, one with an SRL and one with a lanyard. Um, a, a big thing we're seeing going into places when we're, we're surveying a site um, is that some people don't have the correct uh, fall clearance. A lot of people say, yeah, you know, I, I'm, I'm working from 10 feet up, I have a six foot lanyard, I'm all set. Well, if we, we sit down and we do just some simple math, you'll realize that there, there's more than that needed and we need to do the proper math each time we're setting up a new anchor point so that we know our fall clearance. And that's also gonna be dependent on worker's size. So right now, I'm just gonna do a quick way to go over um, fall clearance with a lanyard with an energy absorber. We're using a six foot lanyard. Um, we're gonna use the average height of uh, say six feet. So right here, we have our fall distance, required distance. We're gonna take lanyard length, add the deceleration distance, which is how much of the absorber comes out after impact. We're gonna add the, work, the worker's height, and then we're gonna add a safety factor at the end, um, a harness stretch, uh, something gets a little slack in it, something like that, we're gonna have a little buffer. Just real quick, show you how easy this is. We're gonna go off a six foot lanyard, Deceleration distance in this lanyard's um, instruction booklet has a four foot deceleration distance. I'm gonna use a six foot worker. And we always use a foot and a half as a safety factor on the bottom. So now, if we get all those together, you can see we have 10 feet just between the lanyard and the deceleration distance. We're gonna go to 16 feet with that worker's height we're gonna add a, a foot and a half of uh, a safety factor. That's gonna end up giving us 17 and a half foot of required distance um, above that anchor point. That is very important. Uh, we do too much work putting on all this equipment to, uh, I guess I'll say fall short, and, and we wanna make sure we're not hitting the ground. So that right there is a simple and fast way to, um, to do your fall clearance for a lanyard. Um, and we're gonna move on next to the SRL. We're gonna use a leading edge SRL because this one's gonna use a table.